I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Bit. And this afternoon I'm with Miranda Kane, who's come this year to Edinburgh Fringe Festival with her show, The Coin Operated Girl. And Miranda, is this your first time at Edinburgh Fringe Festival? Uh, it's my first time doing a whole run. Yep. Uh, we came down here last year um, for, and we did the show in its first kind of um, embodiment, yeah. which was, you know, it was all right, but we sort of rushed up here, but we had such amazing audiences and such a brilliant fe- so such brilliant feedback from it. So we're up here again doing a, a newer version, more updated version, a funnier version. Funny. And how has the reception been so far compared to last year? Really good. Yeah. Um, we've done, just done our first show. Um, that's why I'm a bit of a hot, sweaty mess. Uh, hot and sweaty. Um, <laughs> Near your mind. <laughs> and um, we, we've just literally just had about 40 people in the audience, which is brilliant oh, for a great, first day. Okay. I'm really happy, yeah. Fantastic. Now, your show is about personal experiences and yes. your, your history in, in, from, sex, from sex workers. Yes. And obviously that is... That is Quite, quite moving, quite touching for a lot of the audience and yourself, but you yeah. tried to put a positive spin on that, you tried to... Yeah, I think, um, well this is it, a lot of people say, oh it's something that you can't make can't comedy about, about. Yeah. or you can't talk about, but it's it, it, it's something that, it, it's sex, yeah. and sex is hilarious, and it's funny, it's and, it's funny. and there are women out there who do sex work, who enjoy it, who want to do it, and a lot of the times those women are overlooked because... Um, certain people and governments and societies think that it's something that's dirty and shouldn't be talked about and should be made illegal and if we make these things illegal we make it more susceptible to predators and we don't help anyone and more underground they more might underground as well have a method of controlling it and making offering it support and making it safe yeah and you're a massive advocate of um, supporters of sex workers rights yes and um, is that obviously that must be prominent in the show do you do you bring up you obviously bring up your personal experience. I bring up well. it's well. The show is sort of very much um, just a comedy and anecdotes about my time mm-hmm. when I was escorting and doing phone sex and everything. But um, and the sex worker rights thing. There is a thing um, at the you know I don't I don't get my soapbox out and go yeah. blah 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 blah. blah. I, I see my job as being able to go to audiences, make them laugh, entertain them, give them a new way of thinking about sex workers. Mm. So then they can go to my Twitter BBW Melody, by the way, or my. Facebook or my blog, mm-hmm. Coin Operator Girl, <laughs> and they can learn more from that and they can get in contact with other people like, like Belle de Jour, Dr. Yeah. Brooke Magnanti, who's doing loads of things on sex worker rights nowadays, and, and basically points to people who are a lot more intelligent than I am. And not be embarrassed about going to find out, but like, talk about it. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. it sounds like it's a, it's a great introduction into this if you have no idea about it or if you are a yeah. bit prudish. Yeah. And you are... On 2.15 is every day in the Dram. Yes. And that's in Cowgate. Cowgate. 207 Cowgate. And I think we're venue number 339. Good memory. No Uh, one seems to know their venue number. (laughs) Don't quote me on it. (laughs) But if you Google Coin Operator Girl, then all the details will come up. Brilliant. Now, do you have a personal, uh, personal experience, a particular personal experience, which you, you, which you kind of go to your go-to funny experience on stage? Or, yes. Or is that, should we say, say that for the show? I, I can, I will say it for the show, but all I will say is that it involves, it involves bin bags, <laughs> particularly the ones with the little yellow ties. Um, so if you want to find out more about and that, body parts as well. No, no body okay. parts. Oh no, no, no. We're just we're just, just talking about bags. the joy of bin bags. The joy of bin bags. The love one man can have for a bin bag. <laughs> well, that sounds interesting, very entertaining as well. Thank you very much, I've Miranda. I've made you all excited now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> you shut up now. You've gone all shy. I'll see you there. I've gone prudish. No. <laughs> I'll see you there at two fifteen, hopefully. Excellent. And thank you very much for speaking to us. Cool. This is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sounds a bit sweaty. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. So is mine. It's getting a bit excited there. Thank you. Cheers.